Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we got some Summoner Appreciation, Rewards, Compensation, something, whatever you want to call that, it's something special, this actually looks really good, um, so they've been working really hard to squash the bugs, and, uh, they're mostly gone. There's still some that are coming around. I, I think it's always going to be an ever-evolving type of thing. But, uh, we've got a schedule. <laughs> we got a schedule of compensation for the Summoner Appreciation event, uh, which starts today. So, if you haven't already jumped into that gold realm, you need to jump in there and get it done. Um, because those things are awesome. Uh, if you ever have trouble upgrading, it's usually because you've either run out of gold, or you've run out of ISO, or something like that. And so... You gotta jump in there, get as much as you can. So, the weeks are basically starting on the 5th and basically, you know, every single week afterwards. Um, so here's what's happening today. You've got a global XP boost. Now, okay, any of you that are looking to get to level 60, this is the time for you to throw in the extra boost and jump on this all the way, because that's a 20% boost plus whatever you're getting, and then run through like Act 4 over and over and over and over again until you get to level 60. Now is the time to do it. They've also given you that gold realm, which I told you about, and the boost will basically stay for the entire four weeks on the XP boost, so that looks really good. Now, as you can see in the following weeks, you've got an added gold boost at 20%. Uh, you've got a gold and battle chip boost. The battle chip boost is really good because that's when you really want to push in the arena and do as much as you can so that would be probably really good for oh I don't know get in the pool <laughs> okay week number four uh, you've added gold battle chips attack and health boost 20% increase in gold and battle chips earn plus 10% augment to champion base attack and health that's sounding really really good um, I'm actually kind of excited about that one and uh, all right so Alliance Team Revives, going forward you can now purchase level 1 Alliance Team Revives in the Glory Store and this will cost you 280 glory and all of you that were kind of asking for that, here it is. It's, a, uh, it's also a permanent addition to the Glory Store and you can get one every 8 days. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that because do you use more than one revive? Uh, every eight days you think that's gonna get you through a map five because sometimes Map five and map six on that day five be acting a little, a little funky man that weird AI that they got But anyway, I like the idea that they are making map four and map five free uh, I play a lot of map five, but also the reduced cost of map six really is gonna give a lot of alliances some opportunity to get some t4cc and get themselves into that price pool so good stuff and we already talked about the halls of fortune quest so get in there and grind that out anyone who's having issues with gold like i said earlier you need to get in there and get that thing done and they've given us a little bit of the previews of what's going on in the next week so mastery cores will be available on the 22 hour solo event rank rewards uh, also, the cost to rank up a mastery for this week will be free, which is also awesome. Um, because I like to switch around my masteries and try different things out, so uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, week 3, donation bonuses. We will donate an extra 20% of all currencies donated to your Alliance Treasury using units during this week. So one unit will grant 120 gold in your Alliance Treasury instead of 100. So. Uh, I don't know how many of you use units to do your donations. Let me know, because I very, very rarely ever do that, if at all. So, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. And the week four is looking like uh, you can trade five level one Alliance Quest health potions for one level two Alliance Quest health potion, and three level two Alliance Quest health potions for one level three Alliance Health Quest potion. That's a lot to say. Let's, let's simplify that. Basically, you can trade in five level ones and get one level two, and you can trade in three level twos and get one level three. Wow, that's a mouthful. Crazy. And we've got a special seven day summoner appreciation login calendar with all of that sweet, sweet loot. Um, so we're gonna have to wait to see what that is to see how exciting that actually will or will not be who knows and are you guys satisfied with what has happened here are you satisfied with this compensation do you think it's enough do you not think it's enough um me personally i uh, i didn't 
I wasn't rocked too much by the double evade. I mean, I got I got slapped down a few times. I it, actually I got slapped down live one time. Um, but my alliance was pretty resilient in getting things done as well whenever I couldn't. So I'm not sure how it was for you guys. Uh, some alliances I'm sure struggled and they ended up having to spend. So in your opinion, is this something that's enough to make up for that fact that you had to spend uh, units or spend for items or maybe drop down cash? Let me know also down in the comments. I know there's a lot of stuff that I want you to let me know, but I do want to know. So let's go ahead and discuss it and uh, yeah. Once again, this is Dorky Diggity Dave. We just kind of went through this whole announcement for the Summoner Appreciation Week. And so, again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So, if you like the video, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share with your friends, share with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky and I'll catch y'all on the flip.